radius network setup. In this video, you will learn to how to set up a network called employee that uses the radius function on the APC 500. We will have two APs controlled by the APC 500. The first step is to point the AP's external radius to the APC 500's radius server. Then we need to enable the internal radius server on the APC 500. Finally, we create the radius accounts on the APC 500. Step 1. Point the AP's external radius to the APC 500. The first thing is to log in into the APC 500. You will see the NMS settings and local settings on the menu. The NMS setting is for the settings of the managed AP. It is not for the APC 500 itself. The local settings is for the APC 500 itself. This is where you will enable the internal radius server. Now, let's go back to the NMS settings and set up the AP to point the external radius to APC 500. First, select the Radius menu. Then go to the External Radius server and click on Add. Please enter External for the name. Then enter APC 500's IP address. Now, enter any password as a shared secret. It is a password used between server and client. Finally, click on Save and Apply. Congratulations, you have just created a pointer to the APC 500. Now you need to create a radius group. Click on Add, then enter Employee as the name of the group. Choose External for both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz to enable the radius group. Finally, click on Save and Apply. Step 2. Enable APC 500's internal radius server. Now, go to the local network menu and select internal server. Check on the Enable box to enable the internal radius server. Now, please enter the shared secret that is the same as the one you entered for the NMS settings. Click on Apply and wait for the system to reboot. Step 3. Create the radius accounts. From the local network menu, choose the Radius account on the lower left. Please enter your account names separated by commas. Now, click on Add and wait for it to reboot. After reboot, the accounts will be created and shown on the bottom of the screen. Now, check on the box of the first account and click on Edit. Enter the password for the account, then click on Apply. Now, repeat the same process to add passwords to the other accounts.